Okay, so this is what we'll be building an application where you can upload images to your Google Drive account. So over here, this is my front end my application. When I just click on images, if I select the images and I it's going to tell me the images that are selected. If I submit, it's going to upload them to the Google Drive. And when it is done uploading, it's going to return a successful message. You can see successfully uploaded to Drive. If it fails, it's going to tell us it's failed. So let me go to my Drive now. And we can see if I refresh, you can see all the images are there. This is not just for images. You can also use this to upload files. Okay. So... All right, so let's dive into coding. Okay, first things first. So what we have to do is we have to go to our drive and just create a folder where we want to store our site. So let's just call this files. Let's just call this files folder. Let's just call these files. We want to store our files. So yep so this is the files this is the folder i want to store our files so next we'll just we'll have to create a google drive service account credential so that credential is what we'll be using to interact with our google drive so it's just a google drive service credential so let's to do that we'll just go to console.google.com um console.cloud.google.com if you don't have um a console account you can just create a google cloud account and you have access to the console so over here you go to app api and service so you go to your api and service and it's going to take you down here so over here you just come up here and search for drive api so it's going to just pop list of drives so you're just going to go to Google Drive API. You click on the Google Drive API. It's going to take you to somewhere here. You, are, you should going to click on Enable Google Drive API. So you enable that. So, yep, that has been enabled. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the credentials. Um, then you go down, you're going to click on manage service account. Okay, so over here, we are going to create a service account. So this service account is only specific for this Google Drive API. So you're just going to give a name, just call it upload files. You click create and continue. You give it a row. Uh, I'm just going to give it an editor. Editor have access to create, upload and delete file from using this um you we should be using this credentials i'm just going to leave it as an editor okay so i'm going to click on continue so yep i'm going to just leave this at the cities and click on done yep so i'm going to just click on so this is it has generated a kind of like an image for us so for now we don't have a key so i'm going to click and generate our credentials okay i'm going to click on it so I can, I'm going to go to keys up here and I'm going to click add keys. So create new key. I'm going to leave it in the JSON format. I'm going to create. So the key has been created for us and it was automatically downloaded over here. So yes, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the download where it was downloaded. And this is the keys that we downloaded. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to move it to the file where I will be creating my application. Okay. So I'm just going to rename it to Creed. Creed can be credentials, whatever you want to name it to. So that's that. Also, please remember that this service account will, just, will not have access to all your Google Cloud account, just this particular drive service. So that's what, why it's called this service account, just for a particular service. In Google, you can have a Google Drive service, you can have a map service, you can have different services. So this particular service is only specific for the drive that we just created. Okay. So that's that. So next I'll go to my Visual Studio code. I'm going to initialize my node project npm init. 
minus y. I'm just going to, yep, you can see we have our credentials here. And we can see the credentials, that's the, the JSON credentials that we got from creating the service account. So I just moved it down to where the project is. So right here, we just have our email, and email and other token that we'll be using to connect to the Google and Google, our Google Drive account. So these are the credentials that we'll be needing. So what next, I'm just going to create my Epica Node Express projects. Um, I'm going to just be doing um, npm install express. I'll be using Google, I'll be using Google API. I'll be using Mount La. Let me just check the spelling of this Mount La and see. I mean, you L T E R, okay. L is M U L T E R. So I'm just going to go here M U L T E R. So what? To Moodle, to Moodle I just help us to handle form data. Then Google API, since we'll be connecting to, we'll be using a Google, Google we connecting to Google, make use of Google service, so we'll have to install the Google APIs. And the Express is our typical Express project, okay? If we go to over here, we can see that we have successfully installed, uh, successfully installed our uh, dependency so far i'll just create a start script um i was running around with me start when you, you hit npm start it should do node in this.js okay so i'm just going to create our index for now the main file is in this .js. i'm going to create my index.js here at the same time, I'm just going to create my front index.html we will be using to upload the files, okay? So, yeah, so we're going to proceed from here. So let me just go to this place where I have my HTML file. I will just copy the template. So it's not necessarily HTML because I'm just going to copy the template over here. I'm going to explain what it's all about. So... This is HTML and yep. So what exactly this is just the styling and what I'm just doing is this is just like a form where you can just click on select image or files, then you click on the submit. So over here, when you click on this submit button, it's going to change the color to red. And event list now, what this does is just to count the number of you know files you selected and it's just going to put the number of files next the file button so that's what this is doing on change you just check the length of the file if it's more than one you say okay the length plus the total the file selected if it's not more than one you just give the name of the file that you selected okay so that's what is here so i'm going to also create a template for my express okay i'm just going to do this and yep just going to copy that over here. A link to all the codes are on my Git repo. I will share the link. So this is more like a template for our Esper. It's very simple. We're using the Stream API. The Stream is a core node module. What it does is it helps to, to read and write data. So instead of saving the data, caching the data to your local storage, it just read, read directly from the source, which makes it more efficient compared to other kind of reading and writing of data. So that's the Stream. We know the express, the modulars, we set LS, it helps to handle from data. Then the parts, then the we are required. Since we're using Google API, we just have to bring it, since we'll be using it to create authentication and all that. So we are creating an instance of our express, we are creating an object of our modular. Then we are saying the you should use JSON. Um, okay. We are saying when you go to the slash issue, just take you to the index.html, which is here. Okay, so if you and we are using localhost fifty fifty, so let me just run the application and see. So it's running. Let me just go over here. Because fifty fifty, you can see our application is is just our HTML file. The implementation is not there. So now let's proceed to write our implementation. 
So again, I will not just be writing it. I want it to be very short. So I will just go over here and and just I'll just copy this first. Okay. Um, this is just more like the form. So I will copy this to handle the some form submission. I will go over here and I will just paste it here. So what we are doing here is that if a user clicks on the submit button on the form, what it does is it collects all the files that you selected to upload and it's just going to make a HTTP call to our upload endpoint, which we'll be creating on the index.js. It, it just collect all the image and pass it down to that endpoint. If it successfully uploaded, it's going to say, okay, image successfully uploaded to drive. If not, it's going to tell us the reason why it was not uploaded and it's going to say it was not uploaded. So that's basically what I'm doing here, very straightforward. So I'll go to my index.file and create the upload route. So to do that, again, I will just go over here and just copy the upload route, which is very, very straightforward and simple. So I will just copy that and just down here. And this is our upload route. So before then, I was creating a, since this is our credentials that we got from our Google Drive service account, which is there. So the name you give to it is going to be the name Going. So what I'm doing here is I'm just getting the absolute directory to where the credential is. So wherever it is on your system or on your server, if you'll be deploying to your server, you just get the absolute path so you can get hold of the file. So I get a hold of the file and I'm calling the file key file path. So the scope is basically going to be drive. If I you copy this and paste it on your browser, you see it's going to be drive. So I can just rename it drive directly, but most likely I will um most likely, I will see what's going on here. So, so this is the, um the scope. This suppose this the scope is a drive scope. Let me just confirm that. And we can say the scope is a drive. Okay, basically, so it's a drive scope, and it might change. So we just like we are saying it's drive. We are saying this is the key file part, which is where our credential is, and. Is going to be a drive so we're just creating a google authentication using google.auth.googleauth to create our authentication so it's going to use our credentials to create generate an authentication so it can connect to our drive account and save whatever we want to save and perform the operations we want to perform so this is our post endpoint we're just saying upload upload endpoint we're going to use our go to slash upload issue issue you are using this upload the mood line should collect all the files we are getting from, okay, we should, all of them, any of them, that's in perspective of the format, you should collect them. And here we are looping over the files and we are getting each of the files. And whenever we get each of the files, we pass it to the upload function. What the upload function does is to collect that file, convert it to a, a stream, a buffer stream, and then save it to our Google Drive account. You now, how are we going to determine which of the folder is not going to save it to. Okay, you know, we can have different kind of folders on our drive and how we're going to specify the exact folder in which our Google, our file should be saved to. So what we're going to do, each folder have an identifier. If you look at this top here, we have a folder slash one ID here. So you're going to just copy the ID of the folder you want to save your files to. And you just go over here, and just make it the parent. So this parent stuff here, you are going to. So this parent is where it detects where to save the image for. For okay. So what we will do here is we collect each image, we pass it to this function, it converts it to a stream. Okay, it uses our credential to save to collect the image and use our credential to log into our drive and look for this folder with this parent id and save it there and the feed that usually id and name and then when it's done you know i just console log okay file was uploaded yeah okay, so over here when it's successful okay i'm going to wait so when it's successful i'm just going to say okay from submitted if there's an error i'm going to cache the error i'm going to send so that's exactly what it is so i think i'm done here so let's just test it out to see npm start and yep 
So let me before then, I think we're not yet done to test it. And before then, if we go to our credentials, we'll have our our client's email. Where is it? Where is it? We have our client email. So what you are going to do now is that remember the way drive works before anybody have access to your your folder it must be authorized like you must grant the person access so this client email now which we got from our credentials you go over to your to your drive and you are going to just click on give you just going to give it the permission to the email and you just make it an editor so you can write read and edit so whenever any operation is being performed is being performed under the name of this email which is on our credential. So access has been granted to this particular email, which we are getting from our credentials to make changes to our drive. So I think that's that. So let me just test this out. So go to 5050 again, select images. Um, okay. I think. Um, just refresh select image i can select this myself and this let me just select both of them for if we made selected click on submit it's going to wait until if it's on, until submitted so okay so let's just wait and see okay since successfully submitted to drive so let me go to drive we can see both images are there so if i click on a single image let me just click on this one. Just this image is going to just tell us the only image. If I add more than one image, it's going to like tell me the no list of images added. So click on submit and let's see if this is going to it is successfully submitted to drive. Okay, if I go to we can say that we have two images on our folder. So that is that for the course. So if you and if you learned from it, you can subscribe and like and also share so if you want me to do this using react angular any other framework or using java spring boots you can also comment down below and i will get it done